What up, y'all? Today, I'm gonna be eating some homestyle fettuccine alfredo topped with bacon and a lot of Parmesan. Uh, here we go, right here. You know, I did think I was filming myself for the last five minutes while I was putting this together, but I looked at my camera, I was like, damn, you know what? I wasn't even filming myself, so that's that's quite a shame. But it is what it is. This is homestyle because it's in a pan. I made this. Don't get your hopes up, though. It ain't nothing fancy. I didn't really do much filming because I use some weird techniques, some bachelor techniques, I would say. I cooked the pasta in this pan. I only use one pan for this. Italians and pasta purists might kill me, but whatever, you know, it is what it is. I also used Classico, uh, straight out the jar. Topped it with some bacon and um, got this fake Parmesan cheese that this was new when I got it, so I used about half of that. Um, it's looking good, it's looking mighty fine. It's hefty. This thing is weighing at least a couple pounds, I reckon, maybe more. I don't know how much of this I'll eat, but I'll see what I can take down. Let's just take a bite. I don't even know if it's gonna be good. I didn't taste it yet. I will say that. So, going in. That's up my alley. That's right up my alley. Home style, bachelor style, pasta sauce out of a jar. You can't get much more home style than that. I've never had this actually. I've never had um, fettuccine Alfredo. Whoa, I was about to say Alfredo. Fettuccine Alfredo with uh, bacon on it. You know, I was thinking about putting some chicken in it, but then I'm like, well, that might just look like, uh, it might be too white. So I went with the bacon. I'll tell you what, I don't know if you can hear it. Any little crunches of the, of the bacon, but uh, it's nice. I love like crispy bacon in pasta. I honestly do feel like adding chicken to this as well would be better. I'm just, you know. I ain't no master chef with it. So um, this time I just want the bacon and it's great. I will elaborate a little bit on how I, I'm like, you know, the process of making this because you might be like me, you might hate doing dishes. I hate it. It's, it's I don't have a dishwasher. They're kind of uncommon in Korea, to be fair. Like if you have a dishwasher, maybe it wouldn't be so detestable. So um, whenever I do try to put something together, I always try to do it in the most efficient way possible. in the way that requires the least amount of cleanup possible. So one pan, I know that's a thing, I, I checked it out. People, there are some controversial videos online, um, cooking pasta in a pan. Some people said it's, you know, it's just as good or just pretty much just as good, maybe not as good, but just, and some people said it's a travesty. Blasphemy. Um, I found it worked pretty well. You put the pasta down in the pan, you cover it with cold water just about uh, till it's covering all the pasta, and then you turn on the heat and let it go for, I don't remember exactly how long it went for, but you, you keep tasting it, you keep touching it, keep stirring it. And at the end, you are left with this like super like, rich pasta water. I, I, I didn't drain anything. like. The one thing I hate 
when I make when you make pasta is pulling out Sorry, I just had to go through that mid-sentence bite, <laughs> but pulling out the big pot and then the colander to drain the pasta and then you have to have a pan to like cook the sauce in. It's like that's just too much stuff to be washing after you eat, you know? So I didn't drain nothing. There's a little bit of like pasta water at the very end there. And um, I just poured the sauce right up in there and it, um, it kind of mixed in with it. Of course, you know, you got to have that Parmesan or something else to like kind of thicken it up a little bit more. Mm, but Call me a food noob. I don't see much difference in the the texture, the taste, the quality of this pasta cooking it in this in this method. And I know I saved myself a lot of aggravation uh, cleaning up. I don't even have a colander. I'm quite kind of surprised. I'm taking this down pretty well. Um, I don't know if it translates on screen, but this is a, a, a good amount. So that can only mean one thing. If you're having a date over at the crib, no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go with this route, to be honest. Wouldn't go down that path. I'd try to step it up. But if you ain't having no dinner date night at the crib, and you're just at home chilling. This is right where it's at. Straight chilling. All right, y'all. Took it down. Mm. Great meal. I'm feeling good. I feel like I could run a little 5K. A little quick fun run if I really wanted to. Quick, easy, minimal cleanup. Cheap for the broke folks and, uh, and just home style. Right on my alley. Good meal right there. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I appreciate you watching this. Thank you for joining me and hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.